Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, I have two special sales offer available. And uh, the first one, it's a mid-year reading. It's a reading that looks into the second half of the year of 2019 and what kind of opportunities, challenges, changes and blessings might be a part of that time frame for you. And the other one is called The Tides. It's a reading that looks upon a theme of the emotional currents, what might be um, coming into the shore in terms of new emotional experiences and spiritual blessings as well and what might be um, pull, what might be pulling back, being pulled back washed clean purge out of your life in terms of emotional experiences as well so if you would like to know more details about that uh, those special offers or any other of my services <clears throat> just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the PayPal link which is also down below so Aries tough choices it feels like it's a major theme for some of you it does feel like some of you, though, some of you, this energy of tough choices is really connected with the fact that it touches an emotional, an emotional, uh, um, there's something emotional about the choices you are dealing with, even if it's not about love, it brings out from you emotional responses. So your ability to um, commit to a path and decide something might be currently during this month um, really challenged by the fact that you can't objectively look at the matter or matters with uh, your mind's eye. You're really looking at it with your needs, your internal needs, your vulnerabilities, your sensitivities, your fears of abandonment, loss, um, loneliness, all those type of things are being triggered by what those choices represent. For for some of you Aries, this is indeed choices about love. There feels like some of you have options or have um, reached a crossroads when it comes to your love life. You do have the lovers here as your unconscious energy, so things you might be unaware that are happening during this month, but that are like the driving force, um, the purpose towards why certain things are happening. And so the lovers, I do feel like the, the lovers here for you really talks about choices you have when it comes to your love life, uh, where to go ahead with a current partner, um, choosing between two love options or two paths, a new path where you let go of the past or a path, a path where you return to that past influence because I feel like some Aries have those two exactly roads. You have a road that it's new, that it's unfamiliar, that it's exciting, that's different, that's unknown and then you have a road that touches more, again, like a home. It's a feeling uh, that you're used to or a person that in which you have a long history with or it's just a way of being in relationships that it's more familiar um, to you and towards what you have experienced. It could also be that some of you are just left wandering um, throughout the month continuously. Um, what is this love thing, right? The love, um, it's like... I feel like some of you Aries are really questioning what is love, uh, what are relationships, what is healthy, what is unhealthy, what is right for me, what is not right for me, what do I like? It's like some of you are even questioning your own love natures due to the fact that there's this conflict, right? This this, this crossroads, this, um, this duality being uh, brought here to the surface during the month and you're so you're faced to question uh, perhaps your love nature, uh, the things that you know or think you know and the things you don't. You're actually as well observing a lot of people around you in relationships or some of you are even studying, right? Diving deep into uh, knowledge that it's out there when it comes to love and relationships and all of that. Some of you are really trying hard 
to choose wisely and choose a path that you feel is going to be the one that leads you to success, accomplishment, victory. You want to be proud of yourself. You want to be proud of the partner or the person that's beside you. You want to know that uh, what you put your uh, heart into, it's going to win, it's going to thrive. So again, you don't want to you don't want to lose. You don't want to invest in the wrong story, in the wrong person, in the wrong um, opportunity, even if this is not about love, even though there's a strong emotional connotation here. Ace of Cups in the soul position. So basically how you are internalizing and processing, feeling about all of what's going on during July you're going to, again, a very emotional, deep response. There's a yearning here um, to be feeling twice as normal than you usually do. Not to say that you don't feel uh, Aries, but it's like there's this yearning again. There's this need. There's this um, situation that is just it releases water, waters. Waters are running, running, running deep here. And they have something. They have something to tell you. So it's like some of you are crying more than usual, or expressing affection more than usual, or uh, feeling, you know, like your sensitivity, your intuition, your fe sacred feminine energy, as well as so um, you're so wired to it. You're so into it that again, sometimes it's hard to come to the surface and look at matters. Look at thing. Look at things as they are. Look at what's really there, what's really presented there, and who's really being presented there. Some of you might be painting the perfect picture, right? Or you might be fantasizing. You might be um, so into the exploration of this new emotional dimension you're reaching that you might be missing on. It's not all perfect because there are things here that you need to take care of. It's like Maybe you have fallen in love de deeply, recently, right? Maybe this is a new love. This is a new love experience or a renewal of love. And it's happening during July in a very uh, deep... It's like it, it's taking you to very deep places, unexplored places, very healing, calming places, places that take you to this, again, this place that feels like heaven that feels like safe harbor so there's really a love presence here a love opportunity a love encounter a person that it's activating something very sacred within you very healing but you might have things that you still need to take care of here in order to fully live yeah. if this is about someone in your life new or if you want to give your all to a relationship that you have been tiptoeing around or really not committed with. Whatever is the case, of if this is a job opportunity, if this is a project, if this is a dream, that you know you have to give your all to it. That you need to, you really need to be 100% invested in, but you, but you can't. Because there are choices to be made, there are things to be ended, there's, there's a road that needs to... Um, chosen and another that needs to be crossed it's like you can't have both things i feel like some of you want to have both uh it's like you want to have um it all or you want to have the two options with you for more time and it feels like the universe is telling you you can't you have been in that energy for some time right seven of pentacles ten of swords trying to figure out what's going to come about of a relationship or a situation or an investment, what's going to come about of all the things that I deeply dream, my pure dreams, my essential dreams, my spiritual path, my healing, my love life, and it's all connected here. So it's like this month's action is taking you <clears throat> to uh, an evolving, right? It's like an evolving, an evolving current that is uplifting you to new heights even when it comes to your personal development, financial development, professional development, because this is popularity, this is success, this is recognition. But it feels like 
what's moving this is not ego, it's love. So there's something here about a sensation. Maybe you have recently, if this is not a, per a person again, love, maybe you have recently jumped into uh, a hobby, an activity, you invested into something just to see uh, what would um, come about. And you're realizing that what's blooming, because it's a very blooming, beautiful effect, like it's like a beautiful landscape inside of you, Aries, a waterfall, beautiful landscape, internal landscapes, so beautiful, so mystical, so otherworldly, but you're seeing that something you have tried recently maybe to see, it's actually much, 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 much better than what you felt it could turn out to be, what you predicted it could, out, could turn out to be. It's like something uh, went higher than your expectations, really higher than what you expected. Like, for example, maybe you met someone, but you don't, you didn't see the potential of what's there, of what, what's there with this person. Maybe it was casual in the beginning. Maybe you didn't really care that much about it or see that you could, your, your heart could be suddenly stolen by this person or so deeply connected and now you're realizing that something that you thought was minor of a, or of a minor importance is actually taking really big importance there's something here that suddenly is taking a big importance and you're left again wondering what's what's the right thing to do because it's like your life is not prepared or was not prepared to receive this because you know that you have not been, you know, there's the Ten of Swords is in your conscious position. So you're really aware of endings, things that have not worked out, things that need to be um, let go of so you can find uh, a new, better beginning. Especially for Aries that have been, again, feeling uh, like... You have lost something, defeated. These two cards, failure, talk about feeling like a failure, feeling like something failed, and really having that confidence bruised, right? Your energy um, of willpower was maybe previously not really working. Like, there's something about your ego that was really, there's something that was here like a strike, like, um, how can I say, there's a feeling like here you were like, uh, like a knife went through your ego, right, space here, the solar plexus space, like your, your trust and your creative power and your identity even were stabbed with a force that took you down into a place where maybe you have to you have dealt with um psychological and emotional um effects after that so, you know you have it's like again you have went you have went to a place that was dark and depressive most likely that you 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 didn't know even existed there's a dimension here of certain darkness that some of you are coming out of when it comes to your mental, I'm sorry, mental and emotional states. And it feels that all of that is happening due to a force of love, that it's so magnificent and unstoppable that it's like washing exactly all of this. It's like taking all the toxicity right all that has hurt you so much and took you into places that nobody wants to go it's like the ace of cups is coming here and washing that clean wanting to take all of that away from your system because in reality an aries that is not confident that is not sure of himself or herself it's not an aries right it's not an aries on working fully operating fully from their core from their essence from what they have to give to the world and others so you're getting yourselves up and love is helping someone is helping something is helping here getting you getting you up and into that high horse and when i say high horse it's just knowing where you belong and knowing who you are 
and knowing uh, where to go and who to be with because you know instinct again gut you know what's for you and what isn't maybe you haven't and maybe you're still dealing with that during during july like you're getting yourself there to that knowing it's going to take some time to get you there for some of you because the the um, it's like you're going to I feel like you're going to push this decision, this choice you need to make a victory, right? A choice that enhances you, that fortifies you in your life. You're going to take that to the limit, like to the maximum you can, you can take. You're going to wait it out because you, you, I feel like some of you in July will also be having little moments of happiness and being more in this living fully that moment, that hour, that day, as much as you can, taking all that healing, good, delicious energy with you um every day and living by the day more than by making you know long-term plans because you know that you're still it's like you're still absorbing information and you're still healing and you're still you're still in right to have your questions right it's like some of you could also be that you have the right to have the questions that you have and the indecision that you have don't push yourself to do something before you read you know that you're going to have to do it that's the important thing you're not denying that that choice needs to be done but <clears throat> it could also be that some of you feel like you need more info upon something before you jump right before you choose like there's a lack of information or resource or intel that you know is going to come about you know it's going to come about and you're just waiting you're just waiting for that uh, piece of information to come so that you can make a choice but it does feel like um also some of you feel like something that some of you this is about we wanting to fix things uh that are not maybe working really well this could be more about work and finances i feel like some of you feel like you need to fix things urgently like um you're feeling like something is not working out it's failing again the, the energy of failing uh it could be that you're feeling like you're losing control as well of your um sense of management when it comes to money or when it comes to just having so many things to deal with that you lost track of something and now you want to get control you want to get things in order you want you want to get things properly done so you can be proud of your work you can be proud of what's out there that has your name or or you know the person you present yourself to be in work in family in love you you're really working here towards betterment of things that about you or about things in your life uh that have not been working that have not been working um properly I also feel like in terms of love, for those of you that are torn between two people or two love interests, um, underlying motivations, it's like, understand your motivations, what's pulling you to one and another. There's a sense of motivations. There's a motivation, the one here feels like a motivation of deep love and healing, and another could be a different motivation prize wanting to a conquest wanting to have here some sort of victory when it comes to your love life to such a degree that maybe you're willing to go for something right or go for someone that even though maybe it's not that deep love that love that it really touches you deep it's someone that makes you happy it makes you proud it in incentivates you it motivates you it drives you forward so <clears throat> there's a sense of motivations there's a sense of motivations really being the key to find out where you want to go in, because it's also about what do you prioritize in terms of your life love life you know, in, in life in general what are your priorities what kind of person partner dynamic you really want to have and so you can choose accordingly but um i do feel like some of you are going to be surprised 
with how deep and how fast and how beautifully things turn out to be uh, until the end of the year for you, uh, Aries. It's like there's a turnaround for the better, very positive turnaround. Um, and I do feel like it has a lot to deal with your love life. Um, there's a positive turnaround that isn't expected, but just like what you needed to go to the next level of your life. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.